All right, YouTube. Hey, Josh here, out of Columbia Company, actually on location. Check this build that we just completed here. It's a post frame building, 32 by 64, 16 feet, two inches at the eave height. And you can see there a 24 by 15 overhead door gonna be installed there. But in this video, let's share with you some specs on this building, kind of give you an idea here. But this is actually in Seneca County, Ohio, which is about 40 miles, for those of you not familiar with Ohio, about 40 miles south of Lake Erie, which is a pretty big lake, Great Lakes. And then also it's about 50 miles northeast of Toledo, Ohio. So that kind of gives you an idea geographically where we're located. So let's get into this here. All right, you can see here gray, wainscot right there and white sidewall steel here. And you can see here, that's actually, if you look at that, that's actually a textured pattern there on that wainscot. And let me get a little bit closer to that. See that? Actually, a little depth perception might help you out a little better. See that? The sidewall steel there is the normal panel there, but you see that wainscot actually is a textured pattern there. All right, so just a little cosmetic thing that the owner wanted to do there. But you can see, we've talked about this numerous times, but if you're new to the channel, check that out how we lay out the sidewall steel with the wainscot trim right there. We keep that up just a little bit that way that lets the water evaporate fissure because we've had that happen maybe once or twice in the last 10 or 15 years where if you don't, if you press it right there on that angle right there, the rust will come up on that sidewall panel. Okay, kind of gives you an idea. For as far as windows right up there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and those are actually four, actually, excuse me, eight, four by two windows. So you're thinking about building something like this, again, 32 by 64 post drain pole barn building, 16 feet, two inches at the eave. All right, give them clearance for this overhead door that's gonna go in there. So you can see foot overhangs as well. Now the typical, or the overhead door that we use, again, you don't wanna use a El Cheapo overhead door. All right, we use actually a Thermatrue door. Let me go in and show you, share with you that. But if you get a cheap door, you've seen this probably before. If you get a real cheap door, I've seen some nice pole barns with cheap doors, entrance doors. And the problem with that is it rusts out. And boy, that looks ticky tacky, it looks awful. So you wanna have a good quality door, all right? And then you can see what we do as far as the support under that man door right there. See how we put that four by six treated spacer in there? That way, if you're walking in that man door, boom, you're not gonna fall down, all right? Gives you some extra support there. And you can see on this application, as far as we're using a two by six sidewall girt, and that's actually spaced apart 30 inches. And you, if you've been following along, we either, either use a two by four, two feet apart, or 24 inches, or two by six sidewall girt. And again, that's a 1650 MSR lumber. If you're new to the channel, again, not a number two grade, a 1650, which is the difference? A two grade mic's out about 1,000, 1150, 1650, obviously 1650. So a little bit higher tensile strength of lumber. All right, kind of gives you an idea. And then we use the vapor barrier on this. So if you've been following along, we either use a drip stop, which comes pre-assembled to the underneath of the metal, or we use a vapor barrier. So you can see right up there, we're using a vapor barrier on this application for our condensation control. And you can see up there, those hurricane ties, those are actually an H1, if you can follow along. I don't remember if I put this on TikTok or our YouTube, but actually one of our buildings actually had an H10, which is a bigger hurricane tie. All right, but you can see those up there again, 32 width. All right, but those are an H1 hurricane tie. And what they do is we get a lot of wind, obviously not too far from, you know, 50 miles from Toledo and 40 miles from the lake, you get a lot of wind that gusts down here. So definitely in rural America, and this is actually not too far from the city, about 25,000 people, but you get a lot of wind. And you can see how we set our trusses four foot on center. Then we don't notch them on the post, as you probably see right there. We don't notch them inside the post. From four foot on center, then you can see what we do as far as that two by six block that we put up there. We put four nails up there gives it extra support. So we run those trusses, and in this case right here, two by six bottom, then actually it's got a two by four, if you can see that right there, top cord. All right, and the strength of your truss, there's strength everywhere, but the, the biggest strength is obviously the bottom cord, and you can see right there. And we actually assemble those at our truss plant right there in Attica, Ohio. 
So we made those. And again, for this customer right here, he utilizing for the post here. And this is kind of basic. Sometimes I, I think, you know, most of you probably already know this, but post frames are actually set 32 by 64, okay? And you can see as far as what we set this on the gable there, you can see we set that corner post right there, three ply laminated cow. And then four feet right there, we set a another column. And then you see over here, four feet as well. All right. And then right here on the corner as well. Now, if you're going on the eaves, for example, the post spacing is eight feet apart. And I don't know where somebody asked me, you know, I got a lot of action going on different channels, but they asked me, what's the most economical building? The most economical building for your money? Well, it depends, but if you go in eight foot sections, so for example, like a 30 by 40, 24 by 32, a 40 by 64, again, you're maximizing your post and then you're also maximizing your metal as well. So if you're looking at economical buildings and you need storage or whatever, but again, everything's applicable to what your needs are. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea right there. So all comments are always welcome, but again, 32 by 64, 16 feet, two inches there at the eave. And you can see that's a 40 year guaranteed metal there, paint, chalk and fade. All right, and then let me give you a little bit more depth perception so you can see that roof right there. I get a 412 pitch on this. All right, so again, comments always welcome. Until next one, keep it locked, keep it loaded right here. Attic Lumber, and then you wanna check us out, atticlumber.com.